Hello guys, what you're seeing right now is a brand new LCD assembly for a MacBook Pro 2017. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can replace a broken LCD screen for your MacBook Pro 2017. Now before I start, I place the MacBook into a table with a cloth. Using a pentalobe screwdriver, I started unscrewing the screws at the back of the MacBook. Remember the top two screws are a little bit bigger than the one at the bottom. So make sure that you properly arrange them when doing the assembly later on. All right, so let's now start removing the back cover. So I use this suction cup uh, to try to get the back part of the cover. I also use this uh, getter pick to um, help me creating the gaps. And uh, then I slowly slide it down because that's how you remove the back cover of uh, the 2017 MacBook Pro. All right, so we are at the back of the MacBook Pro and we are ready to unscrew the um, LCD assembly. First thing uh, we need to do is to, of course, unplug the battery cable. Make sure to be very careful with this power cable because I have this experience in the past where battery is not detected and it's, it's not charging. So uh, you might be very careful of unplugging this uh, power cable. Using the T5 Torx driver, we can now remove this uh, pancake screw from the battery power connector. I put a guitar pick in between this connector so that it won't accidentally touch the power. Next is I remove first the display board flex cable uh, using a T3 Torx driver. And we can now disconnect the display board flex cable. Next step is we remove this four screws using T3 Torx uh, driver, which is located here at the hinge cover, which is located on top of the hinge cover. Next is we have to remove the antenna cables, this uh, three cables right here. But before we do that, let me remove first this uh, uh, single screw using a T5 Torx driver. And then we can slowly disconnect all three antenna cables. We will be removing this uh, uh, antenna assembly later on, but before we do that, let's remove this four screws using a T5 Torx driver. And then we can use a P2 Pentalobe driver to remove uh, 16 1.5 mm screws. This one secures the antenna assembly. These screws are very tiny and a little bit tricky, so make sure that you uh, carefully unscrew it and collect the screws properly so you won't miss it. Then this time, uh, it's easier for me to remove the whole antenna assembly. All right, so next is I remove the display cover springs using a T3 Torx driver. Mm -hmm. 
Now that it's removed, uh, we can now proceed to removing the screw in the hinges. So we have three screws on the left and also three on the right. We will be removing the top two. So uh, there is a reason why we leave the screw in the middle. All right, so it's now to open the screen so that it can adjust the hinges. Um, so it would create like a 90 degree angle. It will be easier for me to unscrew the last screw from the hinges. This would also allow me to easily remove the LCD assembly later on. All right, so let me just go ahead and easily remove the LCD assembly. And there you go. That's how easy it is. All right. So we have full removed our um, original LCD and it's time for us to replace this with a new one. Okay, so this is the replacement LCD I bought from AliExpress and I will uh, provide you the link in the video description on where to get it. I think I bought this um, including shipping to my country. Um, I think it's around $331 and I think that's a really good deal. So this is how it would look like and as you can see this it's sealed and it's done some testing and let me just remove this rubber in front of the screen. I already peeled off the plastic at the back of the screen. Okay so let me just uh, put it back. It's the same process. The, the process is you just need to follow the opposite way. So basically it's first in last out. Um, I mean first in last in or something like that so we will now put the new lcd assembly to the macbook all right and i place the macbook at the edge of the table so it will be easier for me to uh, screw it Alright, so don't screw it so tightly so that you can still adjust it um, later on if there is if the screen is too tight or if it's hanging or something like that because you have that experience before. So make it uh, loose and then make your adjustment. Okay, let me just place all the rest of the screw here and let me just do some testing and then we are good to go. Okay, so it's time for us to put this back together, all that we have removed, all the screws that we have removed. So I, starting from the six screws from the top hinges. We will now install the display cable springs. This one is the 3.5 mm screw We're using the T3 Torx driver. Next is I put the antenna back. This one is a little bit tricky, so but with enough patience, we will be able to get it through. There you go. So uh, we have attached the three antennas and then this time the single screw we will need to put it back in. Let's screw the tiny screws back in. And it's time to reinstall the display board using a T5 Turks driver. Let's put this four screws back. And 
Ayan, we can put back the hinge covers. Alright, so it's time for us to put the display board flex cable back and we are almost there. So the next thing is uh, we will be putting back the battery cable. Let's screw this uh, battery power connector again. I might have zoomed the video too close here, the end part, but um, uh, the last step is just, of course, uh, putting the flex, uh, the power cable back once again. All right, so there you go. Uh, it's done. So let's turn it on. I ended up checking the cables, so I tried to uh, plug in the power cable. It's what I thought, the battery cable is not uh, detected, as I already mentioned previously. There, as you can see, there is an X on the battery cable. So again, that is something to do with the flex cable you insert. Make sure that you don't damage it and all. So I tried reopening it once again and tried to fix the cable, uh, tried to secure it. And as you can see here on my screen, I was able to um, fix it. And as you can see, uh, the battery is now detected. So there you go, yay! We have successfully replaced the LCD screen of our MacBook Pro 2017. So we just save a lot of money if we let Apple fix this for us.